Hello, I'm Jay Martin, self-proclaimed number one fan of CSD Athletics. CSD Athletics Director Jill Cashin and I would like to celebrate all students on finishing another school year and congratulations to all 6th through 12th student athletes on another successful athletic year. That included more banners and trophies for conference championships, regional championships, state champions, as CSD is the reigning Wells Fargo State Cup champions. Thank you for the dedication, commitment, and sacrifices you have made to make CSD one of the premier athletic programs in the state. Without you, there is no us. I'm honored to be part of this virtual signing day to celebrate a few of our student athletes and excited to announce the recipients of our Booster Club scholarship winners. CSD Boosters Club provides four $1,000 scholarships to deserving graduates for outstanding achievements in the areas of academics, athletics, arts, and community service. I certainly never imagined that we would be recognizing students virtually. None of us knows what might happen even in the next minute. Yet, we still move forward because we trust and we believe. And today is a celebration of such belief. Colleges believe in you by offering you a roster spot and or offers of scholarships. As a former student athlete, I can't imagine what it must feel like to sacrifice the end of your season to help slow the spread of the virus to save the lives of a larger population. But isn't that what teammates do? Make personal sacrifices to make sure the bigger team thrives? The struggle you are in today is developing the strength you'll need for tomorrow. We believe in you. We believe you did not miss your time to shine because your time to shine is not over. Your moment of purpose is still ahead of you. Your current situation is not your final destination. As I stand by our new track, I'm reminded by how the finish line for one lap is only the starting line for another lap. As one of life's opportunities ends, another beginning starts. So congratulations to these CSD students for being the recipients of the four Booster Club scholarships and congratulations to our Spartan student athletes on their virtual signing day. Go Spartans! Hey Spartans, wanted to introduce you to Emmy Nelson. Emmy is a four-year swimmer at the Community School of Davidson and she served as captain this year for the team. Emmy is a four-time defending state champion in the 100-yard breaststroke and the 200-yard AM. In addition, she also holds the state records in both events. Emmy will be attending Texas A&M this fall to continue her swimming career. Sean Cosgrove has run cross country for CSD since middle school and track beginning in high school. He's provided strong leadership as a captain on both teams. Sean is a Pac-7 all-conference runner and he led the cross country team to a conference championship victory and strong finishes in regionals and states this year. He ran personal best times in the 1600 and 3200 meter races and won the 800 meter race in the pre-conference track meet before the season was cut short. Sean will continue running cross-country track at Wofford College next year. For the CSD men's lacrosse team, we have number six, Baker Westmoreland. Baker was a four-year varsity player here at CSD, where he was named captain his junior and senior year, but was a leader for all four years. Baker finished his high school career with 102 goals and 36 assists. He was honorable mention his sophomore year for all-conference, then named all-conference again his junior year, where he led the entire conference full of 4A teams with 56 goals scored. Big has been a leader and a stable to this lacrosse program, whether it be working with middle school kids after his own practice or taking underclassmen under his wing during our own practices and games. Um, Big is one of the most talented lacrosse players I've had the privilege to coach. His hard work and determination on the field to do whatever it takes to win is, is not something you see often in high school players. Big will continue his lacrosse career at Newberry College in South Carolina. Best of luck, Big. We love you. Hi, I'm Skip West. I'm the head golf coach of the two-time state champion CSD men's golf team. 
And Christian Jarrell is a big reason that we are a two-time state champion. Christian's been part of our program since he was in sixth grade. He's put in seven years with our program, and he is a huge reason we are where we are. Christian's always excelled at golf, no matter at the conference level, at the regional level, or at the state level. He's going on to play college golf for Florida A&M University in Tallahassee. Couldn't be prouder of him. I know he's going to do fantastic at the next level. Go Rattlesnakes. I just want to introduce you to Katie Talone. Katie swam on the Community School Davidson swim team for the past four seasons and served as captain uh, this year. Katie was a state swimmer in the 100-yard um, backstroke as well as an integral part in all three of our relays. Katie swam the backstroke leg on the history-making uh, CSD medley relay this year uh, as they won the state championship. Katie will be attending Bridgewater to continue her swimming career. Madeline Sullivan has run cross country for CSD since middle school and track beginning in high school. She led both teams as a captain since her sophomore year. A two-time all-conference runner, Madeline was the Pac-7 conference champion in her cross country senior season. Her strong performances earned her all region and all state honors and she led the team to conference and regional wins and the state runner-up title. Madeline has been honored for her leadership with the NCHSAA Sportsmanship Award, as well as the Coaches Award and the Luke Cortese Endurance Award for a legacy of influential contribution to the CSC Cross Country Program. She will continue running cross country and track at UNC Wilmington next fall. Christian Pico is finishing up his junior tennis career. Beginning at the age of seven, he played state tournaments and worked his way up to international level tournaments by the age of 12. Christian will continue his tennis career next year at Kenyon College. The scholarship for academics goes to Annalise Nye. It's written that this candidate has an innate way to push themselves even when things are difficult. One teacher shared in a recommendation letter that the candidate started focusing on her own personal growth rather than letting frustration get in the way and added it was one of the most amazing things they've ever seen any student do. We would like to congratulate Annalise as the 2020 Academics Booster Scholarship recipient. The scholarship for the arts goes to Wilson McIntyre. This candidate could be found in many venues in and out of school, in the swimming pool, at the state championship, and always in the black box acting in multiple performances playing not just one instrument, but including many. The French horn, the ukulele, the trumpet, violin, tenor drum, and the drum line, cymbals, harmonica, and of course the cowbell. And also in beat making, studio on campus making music as well as serving as the teacher's assistant. As stated in his recommendation letter, he encompasses such adjectives as the creator, the empathetic, the athlete, the musical genius, the kind-hearted, the leader, the generous, who is a lot of things to a lot of people. We would like to congratulate Wilson McIntyre as the 2020 Arts Booster Scholarship recipient. Athletics. This candidate excelled in three seasons of sports every year of her high school career. Her leadership speaks volumes as she was named captain of the cross-country team her sophomore year while also holding the title of captain in swimming and also track in subsequent years. She has received many awards and accolades. Her recommendation includes a story of how after winning the conference championship this fall, she remained at the finish line to congratulate and encourage the other runners as they finished. We would like to congratulate Madeline Sullivan as the 2020 Athletics Booster Scholarship recipient. The scholarship for community service goes to Anna Kuntz. Anna Kuntz found a passion for environmental studies and became deeply committed in serving and helping others through her passion. In her recommendation letter, one person shared, creating a garden club on the Barium Springs campus proved to be extremely therapeutic for the hurting children who called this campus home. Her contributions to Children's Hope Alliance and thus her community have been innumerable. We would like to congratulate Anna Kuntz as the 2020 Community Service Booster Scholarship recipient. 